The Saskatchewan government kicked off this spring sitting, trumpeting a $1 billion surplus budget. That was accompanied by a billboard campaign proclaiming growth that works for everyone. The slogan has been mocked online by critics. It's truly growth that works for everyone, Mr. Speaker. But said proudly a few hundred times in and outside of the assembly by government members. Premier Scott Moe stuck to that message when evaluating the last three months. A strong session with a, a strong budget, a surplus budget that has allowed us to pay off our, our pandemic debt uh, and has allowed us to make the, the necessary investments in safer communities and stronger communities and ultimately uh, preserve the opportunity for uh, the, the growth uh, uh, that ultimately works for everyone in communities right across Saskatchewan. The opposition's phrase of choice was calling the government old and tired. Opposition leader Carla Beck says school divisions are making cuts and people are unable to get an ambulance or find a family doctor while costs are rising. She says that is evidence the government is not doing enough. It's incredibly frustrating when you add on top of it the fact that you have a government that is sitting on windfall revenue and looks poised to you know, keep that in the bank and start doling out election promises uh, when it gets closer to the next election. I think the people of this province are smarter than that. I think that the urgency is greater than that. Voters in three Saskatchewan constituencies will have the chance to decide which message they like best. Premier Scott Moe says that by-elections in Regina Wall Shakers, Regina Coronation Park and Lumsden Morris will be held at the same time, but he did not say when that would be. He hinted that an announcement will be happening in the near future. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.